Hey guys, what's up? It's Diaper Mito. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here in FL Studio and I'm going to be breaking down Montero type beats. Montero is the new album by Lil Nas X, which I'm sure you've all heard of. Honestly, I was pretty impressed by this album. It was actually a lot better than I expected it to be. Compared to some of his older work, I think it's just a big step up. Some of his older stuff is okay, but I think it's just a little bit corny. I really like the new album personally. So let's just hop into the beat. Starting with the tempo, we're going to be anywhere from about 130 to 180 BPM. We've got a pretty wide range to work with. I'm going right towards the middle at 155 BPM. Now for the melody, you're probably going to either want to start with a guitar and you're going to play kind of a happy but still slightly dark or slightly sad type of chord progression. Now the second type of melody that you could start out with is a really triumphant sounding trumpet part. That's what I'm going to do. So this is what I laid out. It's mostly just chords, but then you can see we've also got these staccato notes leading up to each chord. Then I just took the whole thing and I copied it down an octave as well to kind of fill out the sound a bit. This is what it sounds like. Next, you might want to layer it with some sort of vocal or pad type of thing. This is just going to help to fill out the sound and make it a little bit more full sounding. I decided to start with a vocal, so this is what it sounds like. Then getting into actual counter melodies, they're going to be pretty simple in these beats. Usually you're going to be using either some sort of like a synth lead or pluck or something like that, or a guitar. I decided to go with a little synth right here, and I just made this super simple pattern, which sounds like this. Then I just layered it another time with this pad, sounds like this. Then something that's in a lot of these beats is just like a really hard sounding sub bass. Keep the pattern pretty simple like this one, this is what it sounds like. So now let's get into the drums a little bit. So with the drums for these beats, there's kind of two routes you can take. The first one is just going to be standard trap drums. These are going to be really simple patterns, just a two-step hi-hat with a few rolls or gaps here and there, a regular clap, and then a really hard 808. Now the second route you could take is going to be more of a pop style. Since I do trap drums in almost all of my videos, I decided to go with a pop style today to break it up a little bit. Now just a quick warning, I'm not really good with pop drums so much, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but hopefully it'll be alright. So I decided to go with the pop drum kit from Expand, it actually sounds surprisingly good. I just started off with this tambourine, which hits on the three of every other bar, and it sounds like this. Then I got this second tambourine, which hits on the three of the opposite bars. This one sounds like this. And those are just there to accent the snare a little bit. This is what they sound like together. Then I added this hi-hat pattern, I just did fill each four steps, then I took the whole thing and I copied it over one so that it's a two-step hi-hat, but then I brought that second set down a little bit in terms of velocity so that it creates a bit more bounce. Then I just randomized it so that it sounds a bit more natural, and this is what it sounds like. Then I just added this snare. I also threw in this rim pattern right here, which sounds like this. And finally, I just added this pretty simple kick pattern, which sounds like this. So now let's get into the mixing. This is what the mix looks like. I've just got this hi-hat pan to the left because it was already kind of pushed right for some reason, so I just balanced it out a little bit. Then right here we've got the choir and the pad. I just panned them opposite directions because they're such similar sounds, so I wanted to put a little bit of space in between them. Then I just put this sub bass into mono. Then I also put Camel Crusher on the sub bass. It's just the British Clean preset, but I turned the compression up a little bit. And that's all I did for this mix. It's pretty simple. So now I'm going to arrange the beat and I'll play it at the end of the video but first I'd like to thank you all for watching I really appreciate it make sure you drop a like and subscribe also make sure you go follow me on Instagram I'm really close to 2,000 followers and when I get there I'm dropping a free midi kit also subscribe here on YouTube when I reach 300 subscribers I'm dropping a free loop kit and we're getting really really close but other than that thank you all for watching I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you all in the next video